Hello there, this is Justice from Hate Me Gaming, and today I'm bringing you Star Citizen. And what have we got here? It's the Constellation Andromeda, I believe. And take a wander up to the ship. Look, look at how beautiful that is. Docking rings, awesome. These things on the side here open up so you can get uh, vertical takeoff and landing gear for landing on planets. So yes, you actually see the rotors inside there. Up here you've got a cockpit with bloody nice glass. There isn't too much on the outside of the ship finished yet, but as we all know this is a work in progress. The engines here, four separate engines on the back which you can decouple for the six degrees of freedom. Awesome little uh, ability that one is. Take a wander down to the back. More vertical takeoff and landing propellers. And on the back its own custom little fighter. How cool is that? You can actually get into that but not quite yet. Here's something you guys also might like. I go to here and press that. That's right, guys. It actually opens up and you can actually get in here. And unfortunately, I can't go up in it because uh, the animation for walking up the steps or the ladder doesn't really work. But it will do. But most of these constellations come with a buggy as well, which is a little 4x4 rover. Just get out of there. Watch that go back up. Hard to believe this is in, uh, pre you know, not even in alpha yet. If we go up into the actual main ship itself. Takes us to the front of the ship, obviously. Show you some of these uh, chairs. How awesome is that? They all spin. Look at how cool these are. Let me get into one of these. So this game's like based on like immersion and realism. This would be more realistic if I was sat here wearing no pants at all. Nice little bit of information there for you. That's right, I'm not wearing pants right now either. That's only so I don't have to restrict my massive boner for this game. And here we have another chair. This doesn't work yet, but it goes up into a cockpit and down into another cockpit, each for the turrets on the top and bottom of the ship. Which there will be animations for soon, I hope. And if we go over here. Anyone for Tiffin? Unfortunately, there's not much in my cupboards right yet because I'm poor, so I eat nothing. Let's go and wander around and see what else we can play with. Yes, I feel like a child in Toys R Us. Excuse me. Buggy ship, there we go. And here we have a shower. A very buggy shower apparently. And a toilet. And apparently I'm a vampire. Oh, that's a window, not a that's a win that's a window, not a mirror. Coming out there, I thought I was a night walker. I'm gonna have a look at these beds. Yes, there are four of these, so I'm gonna get two out. You can of course get into these, as I'll show you now. That's like the shiniest bed in history. That's either super clean or very, very covered in something very slimy. I'd not like to speculate which one. There we go. These are awesome for slumber parties as well, guys. Make sure you get your uh, mum and dad's to buy you a set of these. And have a look at the cargo space. Ta-da! Look at all that room! 
That's right guys, this thing is huge on the inside, a lot bigger than it looks. And obviously there's lots of things to be added, as you can see lots of spaces. And this is the engine room and all that whatnot, engine and power. And here is where you should be able to get into the fighter. But you can't right now, because I'm in a hangar, and apparently they don't like fighters and hangars. It gets quite messy. You can actually see through these as well, but they're tinted. How pimp is that? There we go. Take a jump out of that. Down I go. Feeling like something out of Star Trek. The uh, hangar I'm in is a Revelin York hangar, which is basically like the uh, the f the fancy fancy guys. I of course can't afford this one usually, but screw it. Can I touch this? No, apparently I can. But uh, for all those of you pledging or crowdfunding to the game, there are all sorts of funky little tidbits you get in the game. See so if I can see any of them. Usually you get suits and outfits and little things to wear, but this is a cool little thing. Then you can examine some of your ship parts on. Cool. The other ship we have access to, oh look, there we go. There's the ship we are currently looking at. There's the other ones in the game so far, it's the Hornet, which we'll look at that in another video. And I can't seem to find it in this hangar, but there's also a training gun we can use. Because you can get separate docking bays for uh, tweaking your gun, which is bloody awesome. Um, and, oh, wrong button. <laughs> just going to put this on, just because. Nah. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a Revelin' York hangar with the Constellation Taurus. I've been Justice Gill with HMG, and uh, thank you for watching.